The cost of living in Ghana is almost never stable. The prices of things in Ghana change so often, it can be hard to keep up. In this video, I share with you the details of what I spend in a day and the hopes to give you an idea of the current cost of living in Ghana. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, come spend a day with me as I show you exactly what I spend in a day while living in Accra, Ghana. All right, so first things first, I need to get some cash out and then we can go and spend some money. So I'm just at a mobile money stand right now. I've done it. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm just Yes, I've done it. You didn't open today. Oh, it's because of the website. Can I check the weather? Oh, it ran again? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, so we got our money. Now we're heading to the petrol station. My car is not completely empty, so we're gonna go fill my car and then we can head off to our first errand of the day. Hello, how are you? Please fill it for me. All right, so now that we have a full tank, uh, we are going to start running our errands. Three things I need to do. I need to get my nails done. I need to go and sort out my Ghana pension, which is called superannuation in Australia. I don't know what they call it in other countries, but over here, you do it with SNIT. I'll put the full name for SNIT on the, on the screen for you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go set that up so I can do monthly payments for that. I have a friend who works there so it should be a quick process and then i'm going to go to the ad center because i want to pick up some artwork for my office and for my house as well i do have an office i didn't update you guys i'll show you guys the office later on but let's go and start running our errands a place in Jowlu called Nails Geek that's where I'm getting my nails done they have a branch in Not Legon that's the one that I've done my nails at before and they were really good and I've heard the Jowlu one is basically the same so I'm gonna go check that out today hopefully they're able to get my nails done my nails don't look that great um, they've grown out so much so I'm gonna take this off and then um, get them done again I've made it to Nails Geek and yeah, let's go and get my nails done. I'm getting both my toes and then my fingers as well. So the customer service here was pretty good as expected. As I said, I've been to another branch before. They had good customer service. The wait wasn't too long, which was an absolute plus. It was very well organized. I was there for a little while because of the process the nail refill takes, but other than that, I'll definitely recommend this place. So I'm done with my nails. I ended up with this nude color. I just got a gel builder over my own nails. And then I got pink on my toes as well. Yeah, so now we're heading to Snit so I can sort out the pension thing. My, the total cost for my nails came to 280 Ghana CD. My nails took like two hours to do. Like, I do not like sitting down to get my nails done at all. I like the end results but I don't like the process it's just too long anyway we're stuck in traffic at the moment it's only 2 30 in the afternoon I don't know why there's traffic here but where where we're going should be another like five minutes away so Is this the entrance to Smith? No, we go down. We'll create one entrance. That's another entrance. 
guess what guys who did i think i was thinking i could get four things done in accra in one day it didn't happen i was only able to get two things done i've done my snit stuff so i have my document here and it's basically completed now i really want to take you guys to art center though so we'll continue this on a different day so the process to get the pension thing organized obviously you need to have a ghanaian citizenship i don't know if like if you have an international thing you, you're able to do it but all i needed was my business registration and then my ghana card i don't know they actually didn't ask for a passport you get to pay however much you like um, generally it's about 13.5 percent of your monthly income but you get to disclose however much you want to disclose you know what i mean so yeah it's pretty straightforward it did take a while though because you know the information collection and all that so it took a little while but it wasn't too bad generally speaking it's fairly straightforward so it's the next day and we're heading back into accra to finish everything i needed to do yesterday because we ran out of time yesterday so we're heading to the art center in accra to do a little bit of shopping i need some artwork for my space um, at home so that's what we're doing let's go So the art center is basically a place that's worth seeing for every tourist who comes to Ghana because they have a lot of things that represent Ghana and it's all done by local artisans. They have Ankara prints, they have beads, they have handmade bags, they have all sorts of things that basically represent Ghana and you're patronizing locals as well so it's definitely a good place to see. If you want to get um, something to take back home to friends and family, that's one of the best places to go to to see if you can find any gifts for them because you can literally find anything there and they're also pretty as well they have a lot of pretty artwork and stuff you see you see we're about 35 minutes away from the art center there's a little bit of traffic but it's not too bad because it's not peak hour at the moment although like in Accra there's not really anything like peak hour you could be driving at like the most random time and there'll still be traffic so one of the things that you will notice when you come to Accra is there's so many people that sell by the roadside and whilst it's convenient for us that are driving in our air-conditioned cars and stuff like that I have so much respect for those people because the sun in Ghana is no joke especially like between let's say 11 o'clock and like one o'clock two o'clock it is blazing like i can't be in it for longer than 20 minutes and these guys are like walking up and down selling carrying these heavy things it's crazy like i know that that's how they survive but man it takes some like real determination to be able to do that kind of work honestly because the heat is no joke Mate. 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 So we've made it to the art center and it's time to explore and see what they have to offer. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, you're the artist. Yes. Oh, okay. What's your name? Citizen Kwame. Citizen Kwame. Okay, I'm Jasmine. Yeah. And I do frame too. Oh, you do frame yeah, as I well. Oh, okay. So you stick it on. Oh, okay. What's your last price on this one? Last you know I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you customers, right? You can take me my contact anything. I will. So give me a better discount. We take eight hundred. Eight hundred. That's all I have. I just bought this painting from Kwame. He gave me a good discount. So if you come to the art center, make sure you patronize him. Kwame, what number is it? 0240 Uh-huh. 3232-50. Uh -huh. Okay, all That's right. That's on WhatsApp line. That's what, oh, okay, so you're on WhatsApp as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You guys message him. He has some really cool stuff here. So 
So our first purchase has been made. Let's go and have a look around and see what else they have to offer. How much is this skirt? One fifty. One twenty is expensive. If I'm coming back and I still have money, I'll come and buy it. Hello. I don't need um, artwork, like this type of artwork. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Fine, thank you. As you guys can see, they have a lot of like carvings and things like that as well. Baskets, fans, all of that. No, no pen. Much for sure. Oh, he's the owner. How much is this one? Thousand two hundred. I'm still shopping around. So thank you. One thing I've noticed is like. You know, people will call you and ask you to come and see what yes. they have, but they don't pull you. I remember being in like Morocco and they'll literally grab your arm and be like, come look at this, come look. I'm just like, personal space, mate. Like, Ghanaians are very respectful, so they'll call you, but they won't touch you. So I'm done shopping here. Um, I couldn't really find an extra artwork that caught my eye, so I'm going to look in another place. I don't know where I'm going to go, but eventually, I will let you guys know when I'm finally able to purchase another piece of artwork. But I hope you guys have an idea of what the art center looks like now and the kind of things they have to offer around here. So let's go, let's go get some coconut and then go home. center now I'm heading to go and get some lunch and then I'm gonna quickly go by the grocery store to buy one or two things and then that would be everything I'm gonna spend for the day so yeah let's go get some lunch while we're here it's probably worth mentioning that the Black Star Square the Independence Square Accra Stadium are all within a walking distance away from the art center so it may be worthwhile checking out should you end up at the art center Thank you. A lot of people are turned off by snails. Look how big it is. over now guys let's go grocery shopping I've been craving ice cream for the longest time and they don't have any, I'm so mad. Anyway, I'm just gonna get these and then that's it. I'll find ice cream another day, unfortunately. Thank you. Right. So we've come to the end of the day. We spent money on petrol, we spent money on my nails, 
We spent money on the pension stuff through SNIT. We spent money on the artwork, we spent money on lunch, and then we spent money on groceries. Our total came to 2,378 Ghana CDs. I'll put the dollar equivalent on the screen for you guys. Obviously, I don't spend this much money on a daily basis. It just happens to happen sometimes. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow your bliss soul. Now life is short. Follow your bliss, Nani Paya Dane. Follow your bliss, Nani Ebesi Biaye. And follow your bliss, Nadine Mada. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.